wanted to have a party about love because there's not that many people in my life that I know that need a wake-up call. Certainly my husband is not one of them. He <laughs> is a guy who enjoys every minute of every day, but we got a wake-up call right before the holidays. Um, Terry went to the doctor and he had a stress echo and it was positive. So in the worst case scenario, there was gonna be a bypass situation. And so in sort of the dead of night, we went up to Cedar sinai and Terry had to have an angiogram. And it just couldn't have been a better scenario because as it turned out, it was a false positive. Aww. Aww. Thank God. Aww. Even though he's a pain in the ass sometimes, and his jokes irritate me sometimes, and he pushes my buttons, he is the absolute love of my life. The point of all of this is that I think sometimes we all need a wake-up call, and it led to a lot of really intense discussions and conversations about who is important in our lives and what it means to be friends. So we wanted to invite everyone that we love to you know, share a special night with us. They weren't available, so we called you. <laughs> Thank you all for coming in. We really do love you all. Here's the hell. Love you. It's almost like having cancer and not really having Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's so hateful. You see that? It's really sad. Some of you have so much anger and hate, right? Shannon can kiss my ass. How she's treating me is really despicable. Bon appetit, everyone. Those are french fries. Keep those over there. Tamara, you could just smell them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. What's she gonna say? This is gonna be short, but I just feel like just wanna get this out and open. Number one, thank you for inviting me. I'm so touched by the story with Terry and the love that you guys have, and I want that for my life too. And I went about everything probably wrong last year, and I'm sorry. I didn't wanna believe what you guys were saying it was true. And I was fighting to hang on to something that was slipping through my fingers. And I want to ask for forgiveness. I want to ask if we could move on and be friends and forgive me. You said that you had doubts at some point. There was a lot of red flags. Why disgusting. did you not immediately call everyone and go, God, you were right. Oh my God, what the f To this moment, right now, I still I don't understand why he did what he did. I don't know what else to say. I'm not gonna keep defending Brooks because I can't defend his actions. I, don't I will you to. But you were a part of that, and that's I what makes us me part sit there. Of a lie. Sometimes speaking to Vicky is like being on a hamster wheel, and you just go around and around and around and around. Either you're gonna apologize for lying or you're not. Choose. Why was everybody so concerned and focused on his health? Because everyone knew it was bullshit. He did it to me. I don't care what Brooks did. I only care your involvement in it. He obviously lied to me. She's like ready to cry. Tonight you guys haven't made an effort. She's ready to cry. Where is she? She had to go talk to Heather. You gotta talk to her. I know she should make an effort too, but you need to make an effort. I know she's been mean and all that, but she's so sad. This is typical Gina. She always comes and rescues the underdog, and she wants everybody else to apologize to them. And I'm thinking, shut the f up! You know, love is blind. You don't know. How blind you have to be? It's like red, red flags. I'm very fond of you. I love your kids. I appreciate where you're coming from, and I'm very, very glad you came. I know who I am, and I know I love my men when I'm in it. I was both feet and in my wildest dreams, nobody would ever do this to me, or anybody. I think my advice to you would be that you need to have conversations with everyone. I think that in time, everyone will move on the way they're supposed to, but again, I'm just very glad that you came. Hey, me too. I absolutely feel like Vicky just wants to sweep last year under the rug, didn't happen, move on, new day. 
Did you have a nice conversation? Yes. All good? Well, I hope so, but, you know, okay. I want to go home. <laughs> It's 11.30. Let's have dessert. The problem is, when you pull all of us into the situation, you can't just move on because we haven't. Bye, Shannon. Bye. See you, girl. You leaving? Yeah. Man! That's a tough crowd. It was yeah. absolutely beautiful. It's lovely meeting you. Yeah, Any friends of Megan's and Jimmy's are friends of ours. What happened with Heather? Heather wants to keep questioning me about Brooks. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm trying my hardest to carry out and move on. I don't want to talk about it anymore to anybody. OK. I'm sad because I think the women lost uh, respect for me and lost compassion. I can't control what other people think of me. You know, all I want to do is be accepted and loved. And I want to be happy and careful.